So in this video I'm going to demonstrate a few different logic circuits using relays, simple logic operations. Um, here we start with two relays, this is the coil for one of them and then this has some input to some other circuit. And this is the coil for a second relay and it has some input to some other circuit. Now I draw the contacts like this. This is the uh, normally open contact, this is the normally closed contact, and this is the wiper. Now. Suppose I wanted to implement an AND gate, which um, is, uh, makes a connection when both relays A and B are both energized. Then um, one way to do that is to take this to ground, um, wire this through to here, and then wire this through, say, to your light or whatever, um, and this is going to positive. So both relays have to be on in order to make that uh, light come on. So that's an AND gate. So an OR gate would be another thing that means that uh, the light has to be on when one or the other or both of the relays are on. So here's the OR gate light. Uh, then one way of doing it is to have a set, set of contacts here and um, wire this into here and also simultaneously have another set of contacts here and wire that also into there. So now if either of those turn on then that light comes on. Um, however, it's actually uh, more economically typical, economical typically to use diodes uh, because it makes things uh, a little bit uh, less tricky. So an example would be I can turn this circuit, use the first contacts and then make an OR gate. So if I you do this and have this light here. Going to need to go to positive. And uh, I have a diode here that can connect to there. Um, so when that one turns on, it will uh, drive that diode and pull this uh, to ground. So that will turn that light on. Or this one will turn it on um, by pulling to ground. But the main point about this diode in actual fact is blocking so that uh, it's isolating this circuit from this circuit. So this AND gate circuit over here will actually still work. Um, because otherwise, if that diode wasn't there, um, then it would, um, if this relay pulled in, that would point would be connected to ground. And then that wire would take it through to here. And then it would go through this relay to that. And then that would also... Um, get taken to ground. So both of these lights came up, would come along simultaneously. Um, the diode actually prevents that, so it stops this relay having an effect to this on this circuit over here. Um, another way of using a diode to implement two diodes to implement an OR gate is if you already have uh, an existing circuit over here, and there was suppose uh, we had an some contacts like this and suppose these were being used for something else uh, and then we wanted to create an OR gate on those um, we could then put two diodes in like this and then connect those together like that and then take that to our light so different ways to do an AND gate and an OR gate um, and then lastly on this video I'm going to show you um, a good way to do an exclusive OR gate um, what you can do is you can have two relays like this, two contacts like this, um, and then um, what we do is we take the output of this one, cross it over like this, and connect here, and then say that goes to ground, and then this one goes to the light, positive. So this is A XOR with B. Um, and the reason that works is it requires only one relay, either A or B, to be on to turn that light on, but it cannot be both. So that's, those are some logic functions that are useful.